Mental health equity is very important to me, not just because of the experiences I've had with patients since I was a medical student, but I would say that even in my own family, there have been mental health challenges. And I've always uh, been concerned that mental health does not receive the kind of attention that it deserves. To fight for social justice and to fight against uh, those uh, who would discriminate against people, whether because of the color of their skin, their religion, or in our case, their um, mental illness. And for people to be treated equally, uh, they all have to be part of an equal system. And that's what mental health equity is about. Mental health equity is important to me because we can never realize our best health and full potential unless we fully accept the fact that mental health is critical to our systemic health. At the Kennedy Satcher Center, we aim to give voice to the many ways behavioral health touches health care and how we can bridge access to care by leveraging creative partnerships and promoting wellness as a whole pathway to vulnerable people. Mental health equity is health equity because in so many communities that have been historically deprived of comprehensive resources, mental wellness is survival. It is a pathway to success and longevity. Mental health equity is important to me and to the 37,400 psychiatrist members of the APA because we truly have a healthy society only if all people have fair and affordable access to health care. Mental health equity is important to me because mental health challenges disproportionately affect Black and other women of color. For moms and birthing people, mental health, along with perinatal health inequities, has been fueled by systemic racism. Both in my role as APA CEO and personally as a psychologist, I feel strongly that mental health equity is health equity. This is because our mental health is inextricably tied to our physical health. We know that certain communities have disproportionate vulnerability to experiencing adverse social determinants of health, and that these factors then lead to physical and mental health disparities. My patients were denied necessary care because our health system is unable to meet their needs. The fight for mental health equity is critical to the fight for health equity. Mental health equity is health equity because we do not accept an approach of treating the body alone. We care for all aspects of a veteran's life. It is not too late. We have an opportunity to move in a different direction, to allocate resources based on need, not equally, but based on need. We can address historical injustices. And we can acknowledge that we cannot have a full recovery from this crisis without mental health equity.